Hello and welcome, my name is Matthias and it is Thursday, so it's free itch.io game and I found Tales of Neon Sea. It's a retro pixel game and it's set in the future. It's an adventure game and that is kind of the things I could find about it. So we are going to try three chapters of this game and I guess this is me waking up beep 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 and let's start the game time to get out of bed idiot i'm an idiot no i'm not an idiot mr miss that's me Ugh, you're so noisy what the heck are you doing bbx do you want to be thrown back into the furnace bbx i need to perform my routine checks of your mechanical areas in four days over you all right all right, I'll get to it. You're such a pain in the ass. Go wait for me over there. All right, so I guess we're not the most kind and nice guy. Let's do scanning the body. I guess this is kind of the starting tutorial and we're going to learn to move upside down. Ooh, there are a lot of things wrong with me. Beep, warning, warning, warning. Based on the test results, 89% of the mechanical parts in your body are breaking down. Alright, I guess I'm part cyber. What are you talking about? I'm just recently replaced my knee. Don't blame me. Blame the test results. You should get ready for an overall repair. Alright. Are you crazy? Maybe you're the one who needs an overall repair that's not bad idea haven't replaced any of my parts for at least two years all right you should be glad I'm still capable of performing scans on you at all all right where am I supposed to find parts for an old relic like you the museum maybe you should sell you to museum exhibit well we could do that initializing self-destruct sequence oh my god calm down calm down it was just a joke go and wait for me in the studio and i'll give you your overall check soon all right guess we are going to check up the robot and all right we can move can we do anything around Ooh, we can Go up there, I'm not quite sure where it goes. I, we can go in every room. So I guess we're going to this one. This place must be haunted. What's going on? Why did you turn the lights on? I told you to wait for me at the reception table. There's, there's something over there. There, yes, there's Chippy. Oh, you're a robot and you're afraid of a ghost. Just turn the damn lights on. The light isn't working. It's probably the circuits downstairs. All right, doesn't anything actually work? No, I guess it doesn't. Maybe we should move. I guess that's a good idea. All right, so I guess we're going to pick up single row pull resistance key that opens power conduit. All right. Whoa! Damn! That scared the hell out of me. I think you'll. Let's start by turning on the lights. All right. Where are the lights? Guess we can go down now because we get the key. Man. That was scary. We got the key and oh, a little puzzle game. Do we need to turn things? Oh, that's nice. This is one hell of a nice puzzle. This is kind of hard. All right, so we got that part fixed. Mm, what if we 
do this part and uh, one more time and we got the power fixed this is kind of nice i really like this let's go downstairs the light should be up now all right so let's get give him up i need to stand exactly right what the heck is there i thought you weren't psychic well who told you that all right so we turn on the light guess we're kind of in the attic and there's nothing really we can do here All right. Let me find out what that is. All right. This place really is haunted. Don't be so paranoid. It's I'll have you disassembled if you say more crazy things. It's probably a cat, yeah. It's always a cat. If you follow me on Twitter, I posted some crazy cat pictures in the past. Listen to the sound, it's a bit odd. But I can tell you, it's a cat. That armor seems to be stuck. I can't open it. From what I know, it's an old set of armor. It once belongs to a valiant knight, according to a legend. His spirit lives inside the armor. Yeah, right. Legend also said the armor is separate from its weapons. The spirit will place a curse upon the new wearer. Well, I guess it will be really cursed. And more talks of a ghost and what that's about a weapon. I do mind seeing a strange sword around here somewhere. Alright, I guess we are now going to find this strange sword. I can't remember seeing any sword. I do see a helmet. But that's kinda it. So let's go downstairs and let's go check if we can find any sword. Because now I guess we can go downstairs. Or upstairs, I'm not quite sure. Ew, there's a sword. And we got the sword. Claymore, it's a claymore. It's not a sword, it's a claymore. I need to be exactly right what I'm going to say. Is there anything else we can do? Why is there an air conditioning in the bedroom? That's kind of strange, don't you think? I don't know if it's danger or dangerous or if it's just. Can I use the claymore on that guy? Nope. There's almost a samurai sword. There's all kind of air conditioning down here. All right. Now that we got the sword, we are going to give the sword no signs of rust, despite. Ooh, look at this! This is looking great. Alright, the cat escaped, so we saved the cat. Wait a second, it's William. Meow. So you're the one making all the scene. How did you end up in there, dumb cat? Meow, meow, meow. Yeah, that's all you're going to say. I don't know about the spirits and curses, but there was definitely something strange about the old armor. I am glad I'm not hurt. Alright. Go home and stay away from this place. I don't have any dried fish. Well, I thought there was some dried thing here. And we got part one completed. All right, some more fishies. What on earth is William trying to do? Leading me all the way to this small alley. This little white cat, haha, <laughs> William. Do you just want me to meet your little girlfriend? I guess that's it. There's another one here. There are a lot of cats in here. Oh my god. 
Mr. Mist isn't. This Mrs. Percy, she's been brutally murdered, and it seems she's been dead for quite some time. I should call the police right away. Alright, I guess this is going to go wrong. Oh, pretty bad. Hello, this is Chopar. Chopar? Apartment? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. An adult female body has been found at the garbage dump downstairs. Please come as soon as possible. I want to investigate a little more before the police arrive. Why should I investigate? Am I a detective or something like that? You've entered the crime scene. Please investigate every detail closely because anything can be a critical clue solving gauge. Switching to investigate mode to find trace of crime scene. When all crime scene traces are found, they will become a very important clue to help you complete the final detection of the case. All right. She's getting some bruises. So that's one. I guess it should be one also. Blood stains on the clothes. This should be one. This, what was that? Dislocated thing, I guess. That's one clue. I wonder. What are the clues? How slippers, but one of them is missing. Yes, I noticed that. This is damn hard. Dislocated witch with fracture probably caused by a fall of strong impact when she died. Oh, we can combine these. Heel bruise, left bruise, combined. There are bruises on both of the elbow and heel, seemingly former. After that, the body was moved. And this probably happened around the same time as the jewelry was stolen. What jewelry? Oh, we can go into x ray mode. What was that? Liver mortis on the arm. Oh my god. Usually shaped wound. What's that? Also, we can combine those. There's a, oh, there's a strange shape of blunt trauma on the head likely caused by cause of death. All right. Ooh, what's that? Ring mark. Uh, ring mark on the left hand. And was there a ring mark on the other hand? No, I guess that wasn't. What's that? That's a mount, I guess. What's no? We already did that one. Was there only one ring? Ooh, another clue. All right, we can combine that. From the state of the liver mortis on the body, it looks like she's been dead for at least 24 hours. Now we only need to find one more clue and it has something to do with the finger. Guess we need to search. I wonder if that clue is... Step just I really have no idea where the last clue is going to be. Ooh. Alright, we can combine them. There are traces of jewelry on both the neck. Oh, 
I wanted to read that. Thank you. Miss Perry has been dead for some time. The body went through insane, intense collisions and was dragged here. The Julie was stolen and after after that. Alright. I wonder when the police is coming. What's this? Big cat? I wonder where she lives because... Oh, I can investigate this one. Some traces go all the way from where the body is to the spot under the trash bin. I need to move the trash bin. Alright, let's move the trash bin. Oh, I need to move it this way. And let's go check it out. What what is this? There's obviously trace of friction on the ground surrounding the footprints. The footprints show that the person should have been thin and weak. Alright, why it should have been thin and weak. There are all clear traces of scratch in the ground near the body, which some footprints would are probably formed when the body was being moved. All right, so we get traces on the ground. And I was already expected something to do with this area here. The tracer friction start from here, surrounding by more similar footprints like earlier. It is quite likely they belong to the same person. Traces and dragon and footprints and traces of scratch go all the way to here and surrounding the footprints that are the same with the ones near the body. It seems like this person had wandered around for quite some time. Alright, so somebody should have seen him. The traces go all the way to the trash bin so it's necessary to check it closely. Hey little fatty. It's time to get up and move. Right, you're a badass cat. Well, how am I going to distract him? Alright, so I guess we need to find uh, some kind of distraction. And I think I know what we are going to use. Cat favorite food, which smell funny. That should do the trick. And the fatty moves. Alright, let's check out. This is a clear dent on the metal. It looks like she fallen from up there there's a new dent in, on the metal box which should be the result of heavy object falling from above was the dent caused by yes we certainly know that she has fallen from above enough for the investigation let's go through the case again all right so I guess we are going to match all the clues. Every clue collected from the case are like a gear and a watch only linking all the clues. Can you close the, what really happened in the case? When you have enough clues, try and reason, reasoning the case here. And when all the clues are correct, but the case, all right, that's how we close the case. Guess that one. I want to place this one. Not quite sure that one belongs there. This is harder than I thought. First place that one there, I want to 
remove that one. No, that one's not going to fit in here. This is harder than I thought. No, well, I want to move this one. That's that one works. All right, so that one is at the right spot, and we need to move that one. Now that one moves. No, that one doesn't move. Assembly failed to gear not involved. Well, we can move that one to... How can I get this involved? That one definitely needs to be in that spot. Right, let's check out this one. Does it work? Yes, it does work that way. All right. Now we'll see what happened. The suspect threw Mrs. Percy's body from upstairs and the body smashed into the trash can from above. The thief turned up not long after and seems hesitating at the moment it took the thief quite some time to finish, finally commit the crime. Well, I think the crime was already committed, but by throwing her off the top area. The murder should have made a loud noise when he dumped the body like that. Wasn't he afraid of attracting any witnesses? And finally the cops arrive. Finally they're here. And we got our second part completed. William, I need to see Miss Bordoon for permission to move through this area. Only then I can go search for the weapon in the bio biochemical cats territory. All right, that's kind of scary. Oh, cool. Where the cat? Can we jump? No, we can go. Oh, we can go through these things. This isn't the only way to Miss Badoon. All right, so we can go. Oh, I guess it power is a problem thing. Yeah, you can do that, little kitty. All right, I guess he can do that because you're missing a part. Was that or that not downstairs? No, it wasn't downstairs. All right, so we are going that way and then we're going up here. This is cool. These puzzles make this game quite interesting. And we can talk to you. Martin, under the wise leadership of the old man, our kitties have driven those damn biochemical cats from the Fisher family out. Of the block, we are the strongest family, meow. Alright, we are the strongest cat family, meow, meow, meow. Alright, that felt kind of stupid, but also a little fun. Is that a dog? What curly color of fur, like those, one of those biochemical cats. Alright. Tom, meow meow, are you interested in my work? To be honest, I'm more interested in the control stick. That is my masterpiece, such excellent taste. Perhaps you are my soulmate. Uh, sure, can I have it? 
Most other cats simply do not appreciate such a fine quanti quality. Meow, you really want it. I suppose I could give it to you on one condition. If you can correctly answer two questions about me and my family, I will reward you and your masterpiece. Are you ready for the answers? The questions of... Right, let's... Okay, I'm ready. What is my occupation? Well, you're kind of an artist, I guess. Correct. Okay, next one. Which of these is a quote from the old man? Out of difficulties grows. Every cat has his own destination. Ooh, that was a gamble. Next one, last one. What is the name of our rival family? The Fisher family. Correct, all right. And now that I have all the answers, no passing, all right. All right. <laughs> all right, so you can get the answers by talking to all the kitties. And I guess you can get multiple questions. All right, now let's go down, down, down. And let's use the operating stick. And all right. Let's get some fish. That's done. Can we go down that way? No, we can't. Now we have to go all the way back. And we go that way. This is kind of interesting concept because it's a detective game and it's also a puzzle game. I'm so jealous of those dudes down there who get to meet Miss Anne every day. So you want to meet the boss? Well, uh, if you can turn the colors of the neon lights to the color of Miss Anne, I can get them. Right, so... I need to check out that, that poster that was with those kitties because I can't remember what the right match was let's get inside it's red and yellow and then green all right red yellow green red Keep to remember that red, yellow, so the middle one is good and this other one is green. The puzzles aren't hard, but they are quite enjoyable. So I guess this is the red. That's the color of my beloved Miss Anne's hair. You're worthy of a meeting with the old man because of the outstanding courage and wisdom. Jump on the pedals. Platform, all right. Kind of cute. How are you getting up then? All right, who's the old man? That one or that one? Bradley, meow, free, show respect, you little punk. You can't just walk in here like this. Easy, Bradley. There's no need to scare our little friend. I'm sorry, boss. I was worried that no need to be concerned. In fact, our friend might have arrived at just the right moment. You must be William. I've heard about you. I, and I'd wager you... Here from here for the permit, alright. 
Yes, Mr. Bourbon, I have to pass there. Something important I need to do. I can, can certainly grant your permit. However, there's also something you must do for me. Listen to my conditions and you will gain the friendship of the Bourbon family. Alright. And I guess this was the start of the game. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and I put the link down in the description. And you can check it out yourself. This is only the start of this very very early alpha and a lot is going to change and yeah I, I certainly put this game in your wish list if you like retro adventure games because this is quite an amazing puzzle game and I really really enjoy it I really enjoyed it a lot I have nowhere no way of knowing where this game is going but it is certainly looking amazing and the puzzles are great so yeah, check out the link down below, add this game to your wish list because it's going to be great. And you can play the first three levels for free now at itch.io. Check out the link down below and if you're new to this channel, push the subscription button, it really helps the channel. And also a like and a comment is appreciated if you got any questions. So see y'all at the next Thursday at the next free itch.io game.